Hello everybody, welcome to another Ladder Hour, episode 11, as we go straight into the game, straight into the game, versus B, 6.5k, and we are 6.7k, Woo! what a banger of a game is going to be, B is actually high on MMR today, uh, I would say B is uh, roughly 6.3, 6.2k MMR player. So this is a little bit exciting to, to see him on this high level. That's good. No. Welcome back to Ladder Hour, everybody. <laughs> As I had some small difficulties, I forgot to change my scene switcher from streaming and uh, that way it was automatically uh, switching the scene to my streaming scene instead of the ladder hour scene so my apologies for this mistake <laughs> you didn't miss much the game has just started yeah basically what I was saying and in, in the meantime is that B is mostly like 6.2 6.3k more player and we are meeting him at 6.5k MMR, so that's uh, much higher than he usually is at. So this is going to be an exciting game. Lightshade is also, I think it's like his map, you know, it's a very aggressive map, very short distance. I would definitely consider Lightshade to be uh, his comfortable map pick overall. But this is just ladder, he cannot pick the maps of course. The system is picking maps for us. Let's see how he's going to be doing. He goes for the very quickly hatchery. He doesn't. Uh, he usually doesn't get blocked by a by a probe that is scouting. So he gets like a pretty good early game. That does kind of delay his uh, his third base and link speed and so on simply because he's using the very uh, quick drone to make a hatchery before the standard time, which is like roughly 45 seconds or so. But at least he doesn't get the blocked. And it's just something that he does all the time, not necessarily other Zergs. So we're gonna go with a Chrono Boosted Adept. Because of this strategy that he's going for, he usually uh, tends to go for like 4 links or so. I want to go for the Stargate, Chrono Boosted out the Adept to put some pressure on him. Force him to make a little bit more links, you know. Try to capitalize on the... Oh! oh! Perfect, not even close. Not even close, guys. I don't know what you guys are worried about. Maybe you can block this? It's just two links! Don't die. Okay, they probably will die, but I will block this hatchery. Which is pretty sweet. Okay, he will save the drone. He probably went for the hatchery here then. I'm gonna go for Chrono Boost without Adept. Hmm. Void Ray. Oh, Overlord Speed, okay. Oh, drone. Boop. Come on. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go, Void Ray. Well, that's good damage already. You can probably go here as well. What? There's no Queen? What are we doing, B? Okay, he'll try to target fire this adept, so we'll try to run away. Woo! Okay, that was close. He even loses some of the overlords. Okay, that was very good, very good harassment by me. Well, not necessarily by me, it was like more him losing because he was not prepared, but it was good for me, I should say. Right? Okay, there are the finals finishing. Let's go for additional gateways. Start harassing with the four adepts. I think there's a good chance he was going to just drawn up now. Yeah, exactly. Have no defenses. Can I go for Twilight? No, Twilight is bad, I think. But let's go for it. This is not worth it. Ok, 
Okay. This is better. Man, he has like no units. Let's try to save this guy. Okay, we did a lot of harassment. Now let's go for. Ooh! Okay, we have to recall. We have to recall and save the base. Wait, I will have nothing in the wall. Oh my god, if he comes in here. Okay, he's here. Okay. Close. We dealt a lot of damage to the guy. Uh, I'll try to do more harassment with the oracles. In the meantime, I'll attack to High Templars and... Oh, what? Fourth. High Templars and charge. I might get maybe three drones here. One, two, three. Okay, three. Hmm. I think I could have done maybe more damage here. Alright, so what we can do right now is probably move across the map. Saturate the third base quite nicely, maybe take a fourth. I'm slightly surprised by his fourth base being so quickly. It might cost me something, but I don't know what he's planning. Maybe we can move out with like the Archons and so on, just to put some pressure. Because if he's going for like Hydras or Mutas, I'm in trouble. But I think it's going to be Roaches. Yeah, Banings, Roaches. Okay, so we can take a fourth. He will not have links, uh, sorry, Baning speed for a long time. Let's take Storm. Probably a very risky move, but we don't want that, maybe. Yeah, there's no for base saturation yet. That's a lot of Ravagers. Okay, we definitely want to be more careful here. Since he has invested a lot into the defense right now, I'll just put some Stasis wards, making models, maybe a cannon and battery here would be nice. I don't necessarily have the tools to defend Link Roger Bane yet. But if I get to saturate this base, it's going to be wonderful. But of course, I'm getting supply block because that's my trademark. Getting supply book every single time where I have the chance. Oh, that's a stray over alert. Okay, very good snipe. If I don't lose the Oracle, it's going to be great. It's great. Slightly worried that he might be taking to like Hive. Okay, it's time to bring in the heat maybe to him. That's enough of, uh, of probing, I think. He's going full. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not badly saturated. That's very little Ravagers, it's mostly Banelings. So that's good for me. Maybe we can get a hatch? No, he will return in time. But at least that might be enough time to make more Archons, right? Across the board. Fleet Beacon. That's a lot of... He has like very good map, uh, very good map control. Ooh! 
best storm of the year. Okay, well, I'm gonna lose a lot here. Shit, I lost a lot of stuff. Oh no, the baning. That was a good storm, but so what, right? But maybe? Maybe it's fine if I just go. Like, I didn't lose much army. He lost, like, entire army. If I maybe split my army a bit, it's going to be better. Oh my god. I'm losing all my entire economy now. We have to go. I mean, technically we don't have to, but... I kind of feel like it. And yeah, he has just too much here. enough, right? F2 and for the win, okay. He just simply doesn't have enough anymore. Oof! GG, he has wasted too much army for my economy and it felt like it was the right call to just go. If you look at the resource collection, I uh, resource loss tab. It's vastly in my favor, but that was an exhausting game. He was going for like Ultra Let's Conspire in the meantime. That game was way closer than I wanted it to be, considering how much damage I did with the Oracles, the Adepts, my four bases were saturated. Ah, it's such a difficult map to play on, Light Shade that is. But hey, win is a win. And we are approaching 6.8 MMR. That's pretty sweet, that is pretty sweet. As we have an immediate game number two, Ronaldinho. Uh, for you who don't know, Ronaldinho is a fast nick or smurf or whatever you prefer of Kelazer, Liquid Kelazer. And if I'm not mistaken, he's probably streaming at this moment. Or not, he don't know. But hey, I, I'm not, I don't know if he actually knows this is me or not. You can have a good game together. Uh, usually I like the games that I have versus Kalazer, even in practice, when we practice against each other, like usually have good games, like long back and forth games. There are times where I kind of bop him, like I win quite convincingly and it feels great, but there are times where he bops me as well, it's like a sick uh, multitasking with Widow Mines and so on. So it's a, it's a quite fun matchup to, be ha to, to have here. And I don't really play versus Kelazer very often in tournament settings. We mostly just practice against each other. So here we go, uh, quite an interesting matchup on Jaganafa, which I would say is more favorable for the toss. And Terrans have been vetoing this map in tournaments versus Protoss quite often. I want to try the, the build that Zest was doing. Or, well, when I was studying Zest some time ago, he liked to do this build. And when he was playing at Stay at Home Story Cup, he did that. Which is essentially like a Blink Stalker opening. Uh, but with two gateways only and a faster third to defend the potential harassment and then transitioning into Storm. And Storm historically has been very bad for me. Uh, meaning that I have lost way more games than I have won with Storm, but I think with Storm I was in a good position most of the time, but I really don't know what was the X factor that made me lose those games, so I'm eager to, to practice this kind of approach at the moment. As he goes for the CC on the low ground, I'm gonna start with the Adept Chrono boosted out and the Warp Gate. Uh, I think I can Chrono boost out probes, but I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Maybe I want to see the, the Reaper. Hmm. I 
Okay, there's the Reaper, so maybe it was a good decision not to. Oh, hello. Well, he can do some damage here. Oh, wow, what? What? It's a very good grenade. The Reaper is most likely going to die. Oh, maybe I have said it too soon. No! Okay, he mis missed micro. Oof! That was good micro with the Reaper, but he sacrificed it for, well, just more chaos and lack of information from my side. So unless he didn't screw anything up at home with like, I don't know, switching the tech labs or producing SCVs and getting supply block, that was a very good trade for him overall because he really took a lot of time from my side. So here we go, the Robo. Uh, actually, I'm quite behind economically. The Robo should have been started by now. But that Reaper really paid off for himself. Oh, maybe we can jump in. Slight mistake. He goes for the Raven, I think. Maybe <laughs> we're going to be causing some more trouble. Okay, the Reaper is go uh, the Adept is going to get out. Sweet. Let's go with uh, a simulator and uh, another Stalker Warpin and a third base. I wanna say. Maybe I want to keep producing props. I'm gonna be supply block very soon. <laughs> Again. So let's just uh, since it's not going to be a Widow Mind drop, I'll just go for the Nexus. Could be Banshee, but very likely. Very not likely, sorry. I'm gonna go with the Observer. More probes. And then Chronobus on the Twilight, just for the fun. Another Pylon. Pylon, 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 Pylon. Uh, I have so many things to do at the same time, but... I'm not sure if I'm pri prioritizing things well. Maybe I am. A bit worried about a potential attack from his side. Since he's going for Teclapon's factory and Teclapon the starport. But I think it's most likely going to be a Raven harassment. That's what I would be expecting. I'm gonna go across the map. Maybe go for the toilet. Oh, sorry, Temple Archives and Forge. Right now. So in case it's a Raven, we can always feed back the Raven, right? Can we do something here? Oh, it's a fight. What? Oh, he's gonna lose the raven. Okay. <laughs> a good trade for me, though. I wonder why... He was expecting maybe a DT drop? Interesting approach. I think he completely misread that, but I don't blame him because... It, like it's it's very likely it, it could have happened, you know. I'm gonna go actually with armor instead of attack. Do I want to be a YOLO and blink in? Maybe. Do YOLO, guys. Okay, YOLO. Shit. I'll get the tank maybe. No. Ah, it's the freaking. Viking. That's really bad. I don't have any weapons available. Do I have to recall? Oh my god. I didn't start storm. Oh no. That guy sent crumbling. Storm, please start. Oh no, he's gonna be approaching me. Very soon. I couldn't afford not uh, mining gas for so long. That Viking really surprised me. Because he like immediately went across. Oh, he's already here. That's it, guys. Nothing here. Ah, what a sad game. I think it was the beginning was going so well for me. GG. 
Ah, uh, this is what I was talking about <laughs> in the beginning, where he kind of just bops me. Ah, uh, that Viking. That Viking really screwed my plans. Because I could not have Storm in time for this. Maybe I need to take both of the simulators. Oh well. GG. One for one today. One for one. Strong game though by him. Strong timing. Even though he like he lost the Reaper and the Adept got in, he still managed to uh, create a very strong timing before my storm. Max Packs, our lovely most played Protoss in Europe. It feels like it. Here we go. The games are uh, getting found very quickly today, which is good. Maybe we can uh, squeeze in more than like three or four games than usual for that hour. Because uh, I think for the past couple of episodes we had very long games, but uh, that uh, does mean that it was a rather short quantity of games. But I guess quality is better than quantity. <clears throat> Gonna start with a gateway scout. I'm expecting my opponent to go for uh, one gate expand. I guess Max Pax is just one of those players who does it pretty much all the time. And we have a very <laughs> big ladder history against each other. Off stream, on stream, on the record, off the record. It's just we play so often against each other, even on the tournaments as well. He's probably the second most, uh, maybe even the most played player against me across Europe for the past couple of months. Okay. Where's my prompt? Kinda need to take a natural. Worth it. <laughs> we both. Uh, I mean, I lost more minerals in there. The second block on the panel was cool. But this one, not really. The third one, sorry, not really. You're gonna block me. Snipe it for one adept. It's not worth it. I suppose. It's kind of wasting a lot of time. the uh, shield batteries, but I have invested into the two adapts, I've got nothing done, so I'm really winning now. Okay, got the oracle. I 
have two gateways, which is slightly more than he does. Slightly afraid that this could be DT follow up. Not enough energy. Okay. I want to send the hallucination again to see when he's actually going for uh, third base and how many gateways he has. Very similar timing. Maybe I cannot do much. However, he's not. Oh, he's gone for the war prism. Much faster than me. Can we do some? <gasps> I'm supply blocked again. No. Guys, what are you doing? This is not a time to be supply blocked. Oh my god. We're gonna lose more stalkers here. Hmm. Was that worth it? Maybe think if I get to four bases, maybe it was not that worth it. I'm going to DTs now. A bit supply, but of course, because that's my trademark. He also lost some of the pros of the Adepts, right? So maybe it's fine. Like losing the third base really hurts. At least I maintained the stalker count. with the stalkers I feel like can't afford just uh, staying at home He has one observer here. I killed my own battery. Sweet.
What the heck, the game. I lost the. So I'm ready to score. I think he still has a, a war prism here. Oh, can we get this guy? Okay, the cyber core is being repealed. Do we go for another paint? I'm actually very confused about where we are now. Oh wait, I'm built <laughs> two cyber cores. Okay guys, if you lose one cyber core, don't rebuild two of them, okay? Now I'm kind of preventing the losses, but come on. Are we? I think it's going to be a good fight for me, no? <laughs> oh no! Warp into DTs. Okay. I think you have a much better army. Have plus two was here, plus one. Not plus two as well. Please, just save these stalkers. And we are golden. Okay, and what he has. Six stalkers, three archons, lots of probes. Yeah, I, I win this. Right? Oh no. I have some probes here as well. So let's just leave one probe here, just in case. I think I have a much larger army. Oh well. We're gonna just try to 1A the Nexus, I suppose. But I have... Like, I have... Stuff at home. I just go and kill you, no? GG. That was a tiring game, guys. <laughs> he was rebuilding the Nexus as well. Let's see what was the army count. We Like, we both did the same thing. Uh, when we base raided. I want to see. Well, that's a little bit before, after. Okay, this is before. I had a huge like, army advantage. Look at this. 18 Zealous to 10, uh, to 10 Immortal Immortal. He had two Archon advantage, but had like eight more Stalkers to DTs. <laughs> so I had a slight advantage in the army. Well, not slight, but it was it's quite a large one. Oof! Good game, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, looking at the army value, it was, yeah, significant advantage in the army value. Resource collection, <laughs> yet slightly better. That's when the third base got killed. A huge advantage for him this, uh, in here, but we managed to come back. Good game number three. Sweet. Game number four against DNS. French Protoss. I think uh, we are always very evenly matched when we play against each other have pretty hard games versus them overall I f if I had to guess or like give a prediction I think he has better macro than me in a way like the better execution of a build order maybe I'm just like overthinking too much and he's just doing it blindly but I don't think so So we should be having an interesting game again. 
It's going to be on Romantis side as well. One of the largest maps. Um, most defensive maps as well, alongside with Death Aura. In the current map pool. Okay, we both scouted after the gateway. We could see a small blip on the mini map as our probes passed each other. Is he going for one gate expand? No way. Okay, good. We're both going to be harassing each other mineral lines now. I'm gonna start with a second pile on the natural. Just for the lulz. No actual meaning in here. Oh, I don't want to lose my pro. Okay. We have to get rid of this guy, he's annoying. Maybe adapt adapt this time? Nah, stalker stalker. I am a chicken. Goes for a pylon here. Very interesting. Goes for the adepts. Okay, well the the probe is dead. That's for sure. Let go just for the Stargate. Let go for Stalker Stargate. <laughs> the latest Stargate possible. Known to mankind. Let's go for it. Wait. If he actually outmaneuvered my pro. I uh, sorry my stock. Oh my god, that was so close. Can we just go across the map? Is this something we can do? Now if he's opening up 8 adepts it's going to be quite tricky. Oh, it's double sentry behind. So we have some chance. We're both microing like apes here. I got my money in the meantime. Could have done so much more. <laughs> I think my initial micro was super good, but <laughs> when the adepts joined, then I completely forgot about them. Like I didn't even register. Like when I send them, I was just like, boop, they're gone. You know, they don't exist for me anymore. Okay, that's 
Good harassment, but not enough. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think we have to kind of drag this game out. I don't think I, I can have a timing that will kill him, simply because I screwed up my macro so much. So what we can do is just send these stalkers around. Wait, I have only three gates? Where's my fourth one? Just didn't build it. He can chase me actually. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, I don't have much here, guys. Either. Wait, I lost the two stock. <laughs> I lost the two oracles, guys. Oh, some vicious blink. Yeah, I think that went better than expected, but if I saved my two oracles. If I had them with me right now, this would have been a fantastic trade. But I don't have them. So I can't live in the past, I have to look into the future. What we can do is keep building pros, maybe make charge. And hope for the love of God, of God that he's not going to be making DTs, okay? Maybe. Maybe I can actually go for the Robo. Okay, let's, I'm a chicken, guys. I, I will go for the Robo. It's probably going to be costing me the game. I mean, it's possible. I don't, I don't know. I'm just uh, not sure where I am actually in this game. I feel like there are so many openings that I can die from right now. Probably one of them. Wait, he doesn't have any upgrades. Why did I blink in here? Oh, I have four soccer here. Yeah. That's nice. Maybe with the lack of upgrades I can do something? I don't know. Probably not. There's an observer here that is parked. I mean something, right? Hmm, do I go for disruptors? I kind of have to. Wait, he does have plus one. Oh, oh. He has Archons as well. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to win this fight. The only thing I have going for me is a plus two advantage. It's probably not going to be for long. No. 
Tough stuff. Hmm. I'm not too happy about this game. Yeah, it's purely on me though. My control was not good. Let's get four. He has four bases. I want to see the situation I was in after the the two oracles lost. Uh. So yeah, like I'm in a good fun, uh, like economical position, but I have very little army. My blink is halfway done. He has no warping point though. Like this was the best possible defense for me. But the offense was horrible. Like look at this, these two oracles could have done so much damage here. But I was idling here and I just fly in. Not looking at what's happen happening here, thinking that he's aligning me. So I lose these two oracles. Ugh. Yeah, if it wasn't for the loss of the two oracles, it really would have been somewhat of an even game. I had much faster upgrades. He had only two gateways. Oh, sorry, four gateways. Yeah, it was definitely doable. But the Oracle's loss just cost him. It cost me the any kind of map control and potential defense as well. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 guys. Ay, ay. But that's it. This is how we end up uh, today's ladder hour, everybody. Pretty cool games. High level games, actually. We didn't have a single. Like a low MMR uh, person, so that's great. Good practice session overall. But even though the losses hurt, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just grow back stronger, guys, as we always do. This is, this is just a, a learning experience. So thanks a lot for watching this episode of Ladder Hour. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment. As the secret word for the comment, if you watch this entire video, and you will be just twice as cool as everybody on Earth, is duck. If you type duck in the comments, that means you have watched this far. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.